Hi, this is Nick Garner for Sports Talk for Kids, and I'm here with Amgen Tour of California racer Luke Durbridge. You know, road racing is a different different sport with all the different road surfaces like potholes and grooves. How does that affect a race? Oh, it can be very, very dangerous uh, when you're when you're traveling along at 60, 70 kilometers an hour, and uh, you're in a bunch of 180 pe people, so you can't really see where you where you're going. So. Uh, it's a sort of common courtesy out there that uh, if you see a really big hole, you point it out. You let people know if there's cars on the inside. Um, it's just because you know we all do this day in day out, and no one wants to see anyone really get injured. So uh, yeah, if there's big potholes and and uh, and cars and stuff like that and dangerous, uh, we just we everyone just lets each other know, and uh, yeah, it's a uh, yeah, it's a bit of common common courtesy. What are some of the unwritten rules that biking has besides just the point out potholes and stuff? Um, I guess because we ride with each other all the time, um, you know, things like uh, getting fit in the feed zone, um, attacking in the feed zone is not really appropriate because everyone's hungry and everyone wants food, so everyone rides slow through the feed zone, um, yeah, just things like that, you just, common sense pretty much, common sense prevails and uh, that's, what, uh, that's what you want with, uh, with a peloton. What kind of foods do they give you in the food zone to help replenish you? Um, just like uh, energy bars, um, Gatorade, water bottles, uh, Coke, a couple of Mars bars maybe. But uh, yeah, I mean, when you're burning as many calories as us, it doesn't really matter what you eat. <laughs> How do you prepare for a race like this with all these mountains? Um, a lot of guys do a lot of altitude, which they sleep up high like now, and um, that sort of uh, that helps them uh, when it comes to the air being really thin, and also when the pace is on, you can't really breathe a lot. So a lot of guys do that. And uh, yeah, it's just everyone has so many different types of training. But uh, you know, for me, I like to do a lot of uh, ergo stationary trainer, and that really gets me uh, going well. So, yeah. how do you train for a stage leg without ever riding on that leg's path before? Um, I guess you can look at uh, climbs how long they would be. Say, if it was uh, today, well, I mean, you can't really climb, climb for a, an hour and a half or more. But uh, yeah, you could look at say, oh, the climb will be 15 minutes. So you might do some 15 minute efforts. And that'll really sort of uh, prepare you for the the right uh, the right climbing. Today's leg's really mountainous, and then tomorrow you're going up Mount Baldy two times. How are you going to prepare for that tonight while you're getting rested up? I'll hopefully put my legs up and get a massage, and um, yeah, hopefully have some good sleep, and uh, that's all you can do really. Follow the best young riders jersey, as this will go to the best placed GC rider under the age of 23. It will be an Australian on the podium. Bridge is the 2012 Australian National Time Trial Champion. And Luke held the best young rider jersey for two stages of this year's Amgen Tour. What does it mean to you to have the young rider of the race jersey? Well, it's pretty huge for me, I think, uh, especially with the terrain. I'm not renowned for being a climber, but, uh, you know, I'm sort of up here and at the moment, and so I'm just going to keep trying. And uh, if I come away with the young rider jersey at Tour of California, I'll be pretty, pretty stoked. get into racing as a kid or a young adult? Uh, I was a triathlete when I was 15 and uh, can't swim so cycling was the next option. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your time and good Thanks. luck tomorrow. Cheers mate. Thanks. This is Nick Garner for Sports Talk for Kids. Hey kids, let's talk sports.